Dear Shining Ones, we step into your beautiful sacred circle and we thank Meliha for bringing us along for this journey of education and timeliness. And we say timeliness because it is time for those who are here to understand a deeper connection to their Lemurian Akash. And yes, as Meleha's teaching partner today has said, you are here because you were there. And it is indeed a very long period in linear time between the then Lemuria and now the new Lemuria. And you have us with you just as you did then. And that may come as a surprise because you sat at our actual physical feet then so many times. And now you sit at our energetic feet. And we bring you this. It is only one time that you were with us in Lemuria, but we never stopped being connected to you through all the other lifetimes that you used to gain experience for your consciousness, for your soul. We were always with you. There is a difference between having a Lemurian Akash and not. And that is the major difference, is that once you have had a Lemurian Akash, it never leaves you. It may not be present in lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. This time, it is opening because it is time for the reawakening of those old souls who are ready, who are ready to recreate, we will call it the new Lemuria. It can be called whatever you would like but it is a dynamic time on the earth. There is a portal open now to the information, the guidance, the love, direction of the star mothers and the many beings, the star grandmothers, those from beyond this galaxy. We celebrate this time with you. And we ask this of you, perhaps as a little homework, as Meliha likes to call it, that each day, each of you, bring to your awareness these words, these really very simple words. You will say, show me my Lemurian Akash. And then step back, sit back, lay back, take a breath, whatever you would like to do. And maybe nothing will happen, maybe something will happen, but it, dear beloved shining ones, it's your knock on the door. Sometimes you knock on the door and there's not an answer. Sometimes you just look at the door or think about the door, or don't see a door at all. But we are saying this, show me my Lemurian Akash. Not only will it bring you closer to the door, it will bring you into the cave of creation, to your Akashic Record crystal, where you can commune, communicate with all those many lifetimes and you can see the plan of this lifetime also. We've talked about the past with you many times. The past Lemuria, the lives between. But there is more. There is this life. What has already played out? Who you have become? 
from your choices in this lifetime, what they were based on from the past and this past in this life for you, but also what is to come. And we will tell you this, as you look at your coming Akash, this life, see yourself as this sacred being walking on your beautiful planet, speaking words of harmony and love. This is what creates your coming Akash. Show me, my Lemurian Akash will show you your past. And while that is interesting, if it serves you now and in the future, it's even more interesting. But here, this is what will serve you even more. Seeing yourself then, now, future. See the person that you are right now, living in the brilliance of your unfolding Akash. This is who you are. You would not be in this meeting if you weren't. And the brilliance of your unfolding Akash Mm. As your parent, we tell you, there is nothing that is not available to you. And it is up to you to create it. You have the template in your field. You have the template of a Lemurian Akash. You have the template of parents from the stars and humans from the little paradise of Lemuria. There is nothing missing except your remembering and remembering and remembering. So along with the homework of show me my Lemurian Akash, let us give you this. Create, create my most magnificent life. And say this, I will do my best to keep my awareness moving from my heart so that each word, each choice, each step is a creation of my magnificence, of why I am here. What is next, dear shining ones? What is next is worth celebrating now because it will and already is unfolding in the blueprint and the template of the magnificent sacred beings that you are. You are our children and we do so celebrate what you are doing now on this earth. You have chosen to walk through the fire of transformation and you're doing it. You are being transformed. Take a breath. And know that the fire of transformation is also balanced by the gentleness, as it were, of the rain that makes things grow that creates new life. You have that also. You are that also. 
This is your time. You were born to do this. And you have the most wonderful guides. You have asked for that also. And they have said, we have said yes. So continue to say yes to yourself, dear shining ones, as you continue to open the door, to go into the cave, to say the magic words that create your future. That living from your heart, from this place, of masculine, feminine, human, and divine. Live from there. You have it. You are it. And you are becoming it more and more. And take another breath. We give you our greatest love, the love of a mother for a child, a parent for their children. And we celebrate you. We celebrate with you. We are so proud. And we step back now. We step back and stay with you. Dear Shining Ones, we step once again into this beautiful sacred circle. There are many of us here this afternoon with you, the collective of Star Mothers, we will call it. And we have been in your circle this whole day. But when we step forward, we have a message for you. And that is to tell you of the grace of your beautiful souls, the grace that we see unfolding with each one of you as you seek to find more and more deeply who you are and why you're here. There is that grace. It is as though it is a baptism, you would say. It is, it is a starting point. It is a liftoff for you. It is a place that you are being touched and touching the divine. This is an inside job. You have listened today. You will do more tomorrow. You will have other teachings and perhaps more homework than Meliha has given you. And we encourage this. We encourage each unfolding chapter of this grace to continue to grow and grow. For why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to have a life blessed with grace? Even though we know, we see, that there is struggle. There is struggle all around every human right now more than there has been. And will there be grace that comes from that? Yes, of course there will. But in the meantime, what? In the meantime, the people who are physically ill in the meantime, the people who do not have enough food or clothing or a safe place, what do you do about them? What do you feel about your own worries? We ask you this. When you find the grace to trust the process, the deep process of reaching so far into the past that you create a future, then this energy that is 
gripping your planet right now will settle. And there are enough of you to do that. There are enough of you, but are there enough of you paying attention? It is not enough to read a book, to come to a workshop, to hear the words. It is a practice. It is every day. This is the practice of grace, of joy, of being uplifted. And through that, through you, through the grace that you find in your practice, through the healing and connection that you find in your practice, you send that energy into the world. We know you know this, but we want to remind you most lovingly, but also adamantly, there is a great responsibility here that you have signed up for. And that doesn't mean that it's all work, work, work. No, there should be play and joy and celebration. But when you begin to face and engage in the responsibility of creating your own higher consciousness and linking together with those that are doing the same, that is what will move what looks like a huge boulder in front of a cave. That is where the rebirth will come from. It is not the energy of one or a few. It is the energy of many. It is the intention of many. It is the practice of many and the awakening. We are standing with you. We are speaking to you. And we do not just speak to you at these special times. We are available to each one of our beautiful children at all times. It's as close as a thought of us, and we are speaking back. We ask you to do this. This will be a way for you to remember and to continually step forward in this way of grace. It does not have to be difficult. Use this place of the divine feminine energy. Levitate the boulder instead of push it with a spoon. Use your collective akash. Use the energy of the Shah women of Lemuria. Let the men honor you for that. Let them create the sacred space for you and keep you in that care while you bring the grace of the divine feminine, not only to levitate the boulder, to dissolve it. You were born for this. Now is the time. We stand by your side. We stand inside your heart and we step forward with you through each day, through each moment as you go closer and closer to creating the new consciousness here on the planet. Take a breath. And we step back now 